the process of extravasation can be seen in four types of leukocytes. They are neutrophil, monocyte, T lymphocyte, and B lymphocyte. The neutrophil releases antibacterial proteins. The monocyte forms macrophag. The macrophag engulfs and destroys foreign particles. The T lymphocyte recognizes antigens. The B lymphocyte also recognizes antigens. The blood vessel consists of endothelial cells. In the absence of inflammation or infection, the endothelial cell and leukocyte are in a resting state. In the presence of inflammation or infection or both, the endothelial cells, leukocytes and other cells secrete a protein called as chemokine. These chemokines have molecular weight of 8 to 12 kilodalton. These chemokines promote activation of resting endothelial cell and resting leukocyte. As a result, the resting endothelial cell and leukocyte come to active state. Due to this activation, the vesicle containing T-selectin in the endothelial cell moves towards the cell surface and transports the P-selectin from cytosol to the cell surface. As a result, the P-selectin is exposed on the cell surface. The ICAM1 and ICAM2 are then expressed on the surface of active endothelial cell. A phospholipid called as PAF is also expressed on the surface of active endothelial cell. The leukocyte surface contains selectin ligands. The selectin ligands are specific carbohydrate. The example of primary selectin ligand for P-selectin is Cialil Lewis X antigen. This Cialil Lewis X antigen is an oligosaccharide. The Cialil Lewis X antigen is also a primary ligand for E-selectins. The active leukocyte then binds loosely to the P-selectin on the surface of active endothelial cell through its selectin ligand. The PAF receptor on the leukocyte binds to the PAF present on the surface of active endothelial cell. The binding of PAF to PAF receptor and chemokines activates the inactive alpha L beta 2 integrin. The PAF receptor belongs to the G protein coupled receptor superfamily. The active alpha L beta 2 integrins on the leukocyte then tightly binds to the ICAM1 and ICAM2. This binding results into firm adhesion. The leukocyte then undergoes extravasation into the underlying tissue. Some important points. Alpha L beta 2 integrin is expressed by T lymphocytes. Alpha M beta 2 integrin is expressed by monocytes. Please like, subscribe and share.